to speak to people first, right? Land's up here. We need to speak to land, don't we? Oh, where's the Rucholet? I'm looting land's note. I've gone to clear my head and think about things. I'll try not to kill anyone. Well, you're coming with me, dude. Something is wrong. I feel like I've lost something or not. It was Desna who lost me when we descended into the abyss. She'd been my visible protection through all those years and now. Now I feel a divine helping hand on my shoulder. What is this gift you mentioned? Seriously, so many times I've said the goddess such a divine butterfly to carry me away. Desna has a bad on you. Is it just because you're in the abyss? Okay, can you stand to your dream world? Try not to put yourself in harm's way anymore. You don't interfere with me at this side. Whatever. I think it'd be easier to show you. I don't want to go to your stupid dream. I really don't care about your stupid dream, alright? How poor shall I put her dreams in order? There are just so many of these companions, I just, I honestly do not care about their, their side quests. Like, I could care less. Burn a rouge of good god, okay? I'm good at burning things. I'm very good at burning things. Sorry, sir. I apologize for having to burn you down. Oh, not the tree! Not the tree! Oh, no, my tree. <sighs> Is that everything? He just clearly doesn't count. I am never wrong. What's wrong with this stupid table? Why didn't it burn? The nightmare didn't burn either. Think about it. Why, why this table? Why is it important? Anevia's fresh bread used to be here, but now it's gone, yet the table remains. What if this is a real dream? Your own dream and not something you've overheard. This table? Is this what I dream of? Furniture? Okay. Whatever. She has issues. We're moving on. Okay, so she still doesn't know what the table means. Great. Ivy probably has nothing additional. It's too bad I can't breathe fire. So many missed opportunities. <laughs> you can get get this soon. Don't you worry. I'm uh -huh. sure it just takes a little time and we'll get to there. Do I need to speak to anybody? Assassin's Guild. Names. Meet with land. I can't do anything about it because the dicks run off. Great. In that I case, we'll just I rest missed. and then get back out there with Great War. It he's still mirror imaged. <laughs> he's still mirror imaged. That's hilarious. Do you want to talk about what happened at the mansion? Cool. Bye. I'm gone. Rest. Rest. I have a strong character. That always attracts weak people who need to latch on to someone else. Don't do them any favors. And don't seek them out. Me? Strong? Oh no, that's not right. I find it hard to even lift a bucket of water. He's talking about strength of character, Ember. Honestly. Ah. <sighs> okay, I did should probably not collapse into the chair. That probably wasn't good for it. Off we go. Oh, if Lan doesn't come with me, though, I'm fucked. What do I do if Lan doesn't come with we me? We do it my way. We cry, is what we do. Motherfucker. Motherfucker. You know, Lan, I don't give a shit about your personal problems. We are here on business, and I expect you to be part of the team. You dicking me over to go have your, you know, emotional crisis is not acceptable here in the abyss. If you want to do it back home, fine. You cannot do it here. Where are we going? We need to go to 10,000 Delights. Was it easy to get from there? Yes, it was. God, I can't believe I have to take a Rougelet of all people. <sighs> then must butterfly my ass. Absolutely useless is what she is. To be fair, if I leveled her up, she'd be marginally better, but like, she doesn't have any gear on her, so that certainly doesn't help. She doesn't have a good bow. Come on, Ivy, hurry the fuck up. 
why does Sophie go slowly sometimes? I really don't get it. And then now down the bottom, she'll go as fast as normal. It's very confusing. Okay, well, Grey Boar's here this time, so we should have better luck with, with yours. Yours. The demon's lips call in a satisfied sneer as he greets you loudly. Look who's here. It's the arrogant Galarian who's disposed of our poor Willardus. He catches your eye and frowns slightly, giving a pointed glance towards his bodyguards. You aren't about to do something really stupid and start a massacre here, right? Can we just talk? Who are you? The leader of his gang of assassins? Not to his prediction. This horn thing is one of yours, isn't it? You talking about him? Who are you talking about, Lyria? He gives a dignified nod. Yes, and I'm proud of it. The abyss is full of butchers and monsters. Anyone who chooses to become an assassin among monsters and butchers commands a high level of respect. If they live long enough to make a name for themselves, of course. My guild attracts assassins from many places. Planes. No one hires us for simple things, like murdering noisy neighbours or cutting the throat of a cheating merchant. As I'm sure you know, it's easier and cheaper to do that yourself, and there's no need to get assassins involved. No, if someone turns to an assassin, it means that the victim is a dangerous, cunning and well-protected target. I've heard a lot about you, Yoz. You're the head of a highly reputable guild that operates on many- this really isn't working for me. On many planes of the abyss. Many of my colleagues would consider it an honour to work alongside you, unlike myself. Horsela? Yes, this little demon girl is one of my most useful servants. Besides, it's a very pres Oh, there! I see her now. I didn't see her before. It's a very prestigious to have a daughter of Baphomet working under you. He was glancing at the horned demon with a mix of condescension and possessiveness. She stares fixedly at the floor. It's like she's had a, her spirit beaten out of her. Aww. How do you fail a perception check? You roll natural one, that's how you fail a perception check. Oh, it doesn't matter. I would have had to have... Oh no, I've got a plus 32. I literally could have rolled, like, almost any other number. Oh my god, Lan. The projection bows deeply, staring down at the floor. Yes, master, I am your servant. It's hard to believe that a Nephilim and a daughter of a demon lord could sound so meek and submissive. Something is very wrong here with Hep's... Uh, Horsela. I feel like I have to rescue her. <laughs> I'm really bummed about this. This is gonna screw me over. Did you perhaps save when you walked into the door? Auto save, maybe? Tell me the truth right now. Fine, fine. I was the one who actually gave Greybore assignments. I needed to light a fire underneath this cauldron where so many minions of demon lords are being mixed together. I ordered him to murder those demons at Ganabras, and I put a hit out on Dara's hand, although that ugly idiot didn't bother me at all. But he was an ugly idiot indeed, and a vengeful one to boot. That's why I gave Greybore a dagger that was only supposed to wound the Baylor, and that is why Will using Willardus's name was important. You mean I just killed that idiot for no reason? Wow! It was a perfect hand of cards. Darazan survived after suffering a painful, humiliating wound by a mortal's hand. No offense, of course. The Baylor couldn't simply let that go, and so we started a vendetta against Willardus, dragging other Descarites into it. And that was my goal all along, because Willardus was my real target, a target that was very difficult to reach. He all seems to revel in his own cleverness. He smirks and smiles with smug satisfaction. The dwarf gives a grim truckle and whispers loudly enough to be heard. People like you are why assassins have such lousy a reputation. No respect for agreements. You used me to commit a contract killing, it's disgusting. You acted dishonorably. Such cunning, your plan was impressive, remains solid. Greyball mutters darkly. Stand quiet, Commander. I'll have a few words to say to this fellow when the time is right. You are the head of the Assassin's Guild. Why didn't you send your underlings after Willowis? Who says I didn't? I lost a number of capable killers. And yet, as you can see, I found a more eloquent, elegant, and economical way to execute this plan. I won't lie to you, this kind of plotting makes me very proud of my own guile. Greyboar snorts derisively. So these are your guild's finest? They hardly seem professional. It looks like Greyboar and I reached Willardus before your killers. Oh please, I had no intention of sending anyone after him. But my assistants made sure that every lava in the city knew about the bounty in Willardus's head. I knew that Greyboar returned to Illusionera and decided to use them once more. 
Just like poor Darazand. He had no idea he was merely a pawn of mine. Just as I envisioned. He didn't linger. I paid him a visit before anyone else could. I had no doubt that paranoid Willardus would try to kill anyone who crossed his doorstep, but I expected you to overcome him, and I was right. Why? For money and power, of course. This has been my primary motivation for many years now. Somebody wanted that old wood louse dead. A clever yours has fulfilled their wish, with the expectation of being showered in privileges and treasures. You're getting a share of those privileges and treasures. Privileges and treasures, by the way. I trust you're not going to refuse the reward provided for freelance operatives. Trust me, the sum is considerable. Yours turns his attention to Greyboar nerds. I haven't forgotten about you either. You'll be rewarded in proportion to your truly astonishing lethality. I'll take the gold. Yeah, you know what? I'm kind of annoyed at you. You there, dwarf. I offer you a place in my guild if you kill this Galarian right now. A cruel ventral smile appears on Greyboar's face. An interesting proposal. But this Galarian is paid for my services in advance. And when I accept a fee, I make sure to finish the job. Yours dismisses you with one contemptuous, supercilious glance. Oh shit, no firebrand. And his haughty voice drips with disdain. You shouldn't have picked a fight with me, outsider. Especially here on my own turf. You know, I am going to regret this and I'm probably going to have to load. Win the battle. But, oh, he just like, yeets? And I'm at the front? Oh no. That's not good. That's really not good. This dude doesn't even fit. <laughs> Gills crosses his arms contemptuously and doesn't even touch his weapon. So, you want to fight me, outsider? What makes you think you deserve such an honour? Gills looks at the assassins crowding the hall. Hear me, all of you. Whoever brings me the outsider's head will receive a generous reward and become my personal bodyguard. The assassins exchange glances and encircle you like predators, clearly wanting to take a closer look at whoever was impudent enough to challenge their leader. This really sucks. It would be best if my party was next to me. Many of them already have their weapons drawn and ready. Good. While there's still time, does anyone wish to leave now and escape with their life? How many must I kill before you get up the nerve to fight me yourself, yours? A few assassins approach you, nudging one another forward. They flaunt their abilities, showing off with menacing poses and roaring with frenzied excitement. This, will be quick. this is going to be the end of me, that's for sure. Okay, we've got to kill everybody else to get to yours. Sheet. Who have we got? An assassin. An assassin, an assassin. That's literally it for. I mean, I shouldn't underestimate them. What if? Cover me, all right? Probably should have made you all pretty and sparkly. Oof. Not me! Uh, bliss. And... Bleh, I don't know. Summon something. Cool. Yay, go team. Ah, god damn it. Useless. Absolutely useless. Simply business. Oh, these assassins crumple like paper. This is a lot easier than I thought. I keep overestimating this thing. Ow, why me? Oh, I didn't see you there, sir. Guess what? Will it fire Brandon? Standard action. Okay, controlled viable. I guess. Do what we can. Actually, I don't even need to go that way. I can go this way. Wait, no, I don't need to because... You're literally it. Hmm. Most of them made their reflex like, save. It's a bit of a bitch. And yeet. I voo. You know what to do, girl. Hmm. This one's gonna be an issue. I will resist. I mean, if a Rushalai can hit you, you know you've got problems. <laughs> you zap you. Why not? Oh man. Yeah, attack Regil. Regil's a great target. Oh, bugger off. He'll survive. He, f strangely enough, doesn't need his sight to perform these actions. However, I do have something to get rid of it, do I not? I thought I had to remove blindness. I guess I can dispel the poor guy. I don't think that's going to work. Uh, yeah, I think I discovered this before. I literally need to remove blindness, which I don't have. So, rip. You can just hit it like a twit. How about that? It's your time to cease to exist. You, you're not going to attack? Oh, you went too far, apparently. <laughs> that body got destroyed. Hey! Why are you following me? Fine, so you want to... Uh, no, no, no. AoE, AoE, AoE. Oh. 
You also AoE. Oh, fuck me. I don't know how many times she can use it. Prepare yourself. Distract them for me. You will have a chance of hitting, so you may as well take it. You're in my way. Some of you are going to get lucky this enough. One's mine. Okay, well, I've kind of run out of space because Reg just moved there. Oh, there we go. The crowd of assassins looks fearfully at the pile of corpses at your feet. There were only five of them. None of them are eager to share the fate of those brave few who attacked you, no matter what price yours is offered. Yours flashes an arrogant smile and gestures nonchalantly. Well, well, you vanquished the lowest of my henchmen. Let's see if you're a match for the three tigers of sin. Three monks step forward. With sinister smiles on their faces, they assume combat stances with the casual grace of true masters. We are the three tigers of sin. Martial arts masters from the island of Jalmare. Yalmare? I actually haven't heard that audibly, I don't think. Aurori bade us seek the way of... The to the truth in the house of perfection, but the masters are blinded with arrogance. The truth is pure and only pain can purify. The pain of training has tempered our bodies. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. I don't want to fight you. Please don't die protecting that wretch. Saying please are ready, you soon shall burg. Whatever. I'll just kill you the same as I killed them. I really no skin off my nose, sir. Except he went straight for me, which is kind of a bitch. Okay, they're a little sturdier than I would like. I think I need to haste my men. Haste! Oof. I don't really want you doing much, buddy. Except maybe GTF following. And then kill me, please. Thanks. Originally, can't really do much. Desna doesn't care at the moment, apparently. Now, they're going to come to you. Is there any point going to them? Is not an option. Case in point. Cover me, all right? Ooh, nice. Hey, oh, oh. Flame strike. Hey, gentlemen. Bye, gentlemen. Oh, I didn't kill him. So close. I have got this. The last of the monks folds his hands in a respectful gesture, even if he, as he coughs up blood. It was a worthy fight. I bow before your mastery, my lady. With these final words, the monk goes limp. I'm not really happy with the massacre that's going on up here, just for this dude. Can we just kill that dude? Your snaps his fingers with a grunt of frustration. Oh no, if this dude comes at me, I'm the closest thing. It seems Galarian has populated by weaklings. Boulder, Blood Moon, deal with his insolent upstart. You now face a giant demon with bulging muscles and a succubus dress in dramatic scarlet attire. Ah, uh, I think they're both on my side of the field. Fuck. Crimson sparks curl and flicker around the tips of her long nails. Ooh, she's going to cast fire, is she? Firebrand, firebrand, firebrand. Wait, no, they're just immune to my fire, not fire in general. The succubus stares you down with her crimson pupilless eyes. I don't know who you are, where you came from, Outsider, but your journey ends here, in the light of Blood Moon. You shall pray to her, pray that your agony comes to an end quickly. But Blood Moon knows no mercy. Why are you speaking about yourself in third person? The more you taught me, the more agonizing your death is going to be. Just FYI. Yeah, they are both on this side. Who's the bigger threat, do you think? Well, she's closer to me, and that bothers me. So I'm gonna thwack her, and you can go thwack him. And you can stand there and look pretty as you usually do. Um, let's go get a friend on the field. Why do you have to move to cast a spell? Why can't you just cast it where you're standing? Why do you suck so hard, buddy? Oh my god, she critically struck. Ivy's about to go down. Holy heck. Better her than me. <laughs> Shall we say? Oh man. Press the attack! Concealment? Ugh. So close yet so far. Um, no, Regal's has got this. I mean, if you're gonna go past her anyway, you may as well. Ooh! Some good numbers overall there. Not gonna lie. Oop, there goes Ivy. Unfortunate, but true. Oh, Grey Ball. Gotta heal Grey Ball. 
Distract them for me. Oh, I thought it was Darren's turn, my bad. Uh, do you want to heal, Grey Ball? I could use the demon right about now. Ooh, nice work. You got that was great. You got two AOs. Proud with that. And then he goes. To, oh, he doesn't die! Yay! Kneel before me. You had your chance. Bleeding profusely, the weakened sorceress reaches out to the giant, motionless body of her partner and whispers through her teeth, "Boulder, protect me! I will survive! I will!" Yours grabs his blades, hissing furiously. Never, never has anyone humiliated my guild in this manner. You used me, bruh. What do you expect? I was gonna take it lying down. I don't think so. Do you think yourself invincible? I've been killing the invincible for hundreds, thousands of years. As Zeus prepares for battle, his movements become smooth and imperceptible, as if there were quicksilver under his skin instead of blood and bone. Ooh, I've got no buffs. Bow to your opponent. Fuck that. You finally let a henchman, yours. Now you will die. I need to buff. Okay, we are hasted. I, I don't have mirror image on. But uh, Grey Boar's about to be like yeeted into death. Uh, what's your alignment, sir? He is chaotic evil. Great. Take a face full of this shit. And then go thwack him. Mine. Attempt to thwack him. Make your peace. You know, if you didn't. Are you using power shot? Kind of looks like it. Uh, can you please. <laughs> Grey Boar again. <laughs> Thanks, Grey Boar. Oh, yeah. I forgot about Ivy. Poor Ivy. Uh, you can, you can use your breath weapon against him. You know, I could probably use a greater dispel. Greater invisibility. I mean, at least he's attacking the shadow demon of all things. Oop, gosh, the shadow demon just died. Oh dear. Blah, I don't know what else you can do, buddy. Uh, maybe mirror image and then... Get in there if you can. You, greater dispel. You have a greater dispel. I don't know where it is. It's somewhere in here. You, greater dispel target. Yours. Okay, she fails to dispel heroism. She dispels cat's grace and she fails to dispel bull strength. But what about the invisibility and shit? Whatever. I tried. I tried. Oh yeah, hey buddy. This. The thing we never do. Yeah that. Business. <laughs> What's his AC? 45. <laughs> oh, that is hilarious. That's not gonna go well. Are you like do I have to smite you again or are you already smited? I really don't know how his Dress abilities work. <laughs> Jesus, he's got all the he's got all the health. Um I don't know if that's really going to help, but... Friends? One of these days you'll summon someone other than a red cap. Oh, you could have done another spell. I could have gotten more friends. Done. Done now. Oop, there goes Ivo. And now he's attacking Waljiv. What a bitch. Do you want to get some more of those guys up? <laughs> I don't think you can cast that in range without being struck. Time to share your treasures! That is disgusting. Positively disgusting. Hey, I can do stuff, right? What have we got here? Saving throws. That. Have come spell resistance. Uh, we're trying positive energy that cures. Mm, not really useful either. Not useful either. Let's try that. Okay, his reflex saving throw failed. I don't really see any difference with him, but I guess it worked. It's your time to I guess. We'll get there eventually. I'm literally the only person who can hit this guy. <laughs> Bring more. Just, just all the things. Bring all the things to the table. We're going to get as many summons as physically possible. They're not even going to fit around him is the problem. I need, I need ranged summons. 
of which I have none. Oop, there goes Grable. Rip Grable. Oh yeah, probably should have healed him, hey. Cover me, all right. Done now. Okay, this is not working. This is working. Kneel before me. Concealment and AC is killing me. Yeah. Just keep going. Make short work of this. Okay, one can't get in. Fragile's not dead. Because he's fragile. Oh, are you kidding me? So not cool. Make your peace. Everybody just Out missing. Hey, someone hit! Nice work! God. Distract them for me. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. You just need to hit him. Just hit him. Thank you. Got him. He was props himself up on an elbow and tries to snap his broken ruined fingers. Hey, do we get to own this building now? <laughs> Now the still assassin's alive. Bring on fingers, but they refuse to obey him. He sneers at you with a mixture of anger and fear. You've won this battle. Glory to the victor. I admit my defeat, and I'm willing to ransom my life. Believe me, I value it very highly indeed. So what do you think your life is worth? Yours points to his blades with a trembling hand and looks at them with longing. I shall give you my blades. I mean, what are they? Do I want them? I wield cruel fate in my right hand and merciful fate in my left hand. Maybe Waldorf can use them. Believe me, these are the deadliest... Well, I can only use them with their daggers. These are the deadliest weapons I've ever seen in my life. Once, I earned the privilege of petitioning Andirifku, the Razor Princess herself, for a single gift. And I asked her to create me a mighty, deadly weapon. She forged these blades for me, and you're the first one to survive their deadly caress. Now I offer them to you. Take them and let me go, or else I'll destroy these treasures with my dying breath. I won't let them become the trophies of my killers. I mean, you can buy me off. <laughs> you, you literally can, just as long as you... I, I would have extracted a promise for him to never put a, a bounty on my head. Yours throws the blade it's at your feet and glares you with burning hatred. And Derek Fu tempered them in my blood thrice over. They are bound to me, and I swear one day I will take them back. Yeah, that doesn't bode well. Bye. Hey, Greybore, how do you feel about this? Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can, have, have we healed her or, or freed Horsela? Where's your body? Can I free you, Horsela? A flickering light envelops Yoz's body and he disappears. The ghostly shape of Horsela emerges in his place, her translucent hooves stepping across the pools of blood left behind by the leader of the Assassin's Guild. You've made a good deal. Yoz was of no use dead, but alive he might still prove useful. I truly hope that this is the end of your grievances against the Guild and that there is no other reason for you to remain. Discarding her mask of feigned meekness, Horzala looks down on you with resolute imperiousness befitting a true daughter of Baphomet. Hey! By the way, your brother's here. <laughs> well, not your brother. Your, uh... Great... Nephew? I don't really know the correlation, but the relative. Her voice is severe and commanding. This fool can never pass up an opportunity to swindle someone dangerous. Luring him into a trap was easy enough, and now he is no longer in charge of his guild. It belongs to me now, so please accept my apology for my predecessor's mistakes and leave. I think our business is concluded. Concluded? It's I've only just begun. I know she used me, but I was okay with that. Perhaps we can talk on the flesh, face to face. Yes, let's talk. I can't stand those who profit off my work without paying me. The demon snorts loudly. Oh no, thank you. I'm not a fool like yours. I prefer to keep a safe distance. We seek vengeance for the slaughter. The demon smiles sardonically. Why would I do that? I'd only waste skilled assassins. I have no quarrel with you. You had a right to be angry at yours, and this carnage cleared the way for me to take control here. Do not be concerned for your safety. If you're so generous, what about offering me membership in your guild? Grable asks with feigned innocence. Out of the question. After this massacre, I have to replenish the ranks, and your presence would scare away potential candidates. There is something I wish to ask you about you. The cold stare of Baphomet's daughter clearly shows she's not keen on conversation. Frustration flickers in her eyes, and the seals that mar her skin begin to glow more intensely. If it means you'll get out of here faster, I shall answer your questions. Why did you pretend to be Yoss's slave? 
Pozzola's voice trembles with barely contained fury. That's what I was. He was made a deal with my father and I... <gasps> no! And I was an advance payment he managed to procure. You always thought that a Nephilim concubine would raise his status. I mean, my father did not value me highly. Dark flames flicker in the demon's shrewd evil eyes. And so I, the great Horzala, was forced to serve him after my father deprived me of all my powers. Oh, how I dreamed of tearing off that overdressed fool's head. But I found another way. He was dearly loved using others to do his dirty work for him. It was such a pleasure beating him in his own game. You served me well, Galari. Horzala cuts off abruptly, realizing she has said more than she intended. Admit it, this is all part of your plot. Demon gazes back at steadily. Back you. You mean back at you steadily? It would be foolish to admit such a thing. What good is a plot that everyone knows about? Here's some advice for you. Be careful with schemes and plots. One clever fellow has already plotted his own demise. Study the seals burned into the demon's skin. Can I do this? Yes! You recognize them easily. These are the brands that the demon lord Baphomet and his inner circle use for punishment. The seal drains one's power and inflicts excruciating pain, making the victim eager to do anything to atone for their trans transgressions. It's scary to imagine what it must feel like to be covered in a multitude of such seals at once. Question. I'm assuming I'm going to kill Baphomet. It's probably a bold assumption to make because I don't know that that's the thing I'm going to do. I only know I have to kill Toscari. If I kill Baphomet, will that free you? Of this servitude and you'll get your powers back. Then you will owe me a great deal indeed, will you not? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm batting my lashes at her. I'm looking for your sister, Hepsimira. Fury flashes in the demon's eyes and her hand touches the collar-shaped scar on her throat. Then look elsewhere, far away from me. I have no intention of getting anywhere near that bitch. If she crossed you somehow, I didn't have anything to do with that. But I do wish you luck in trying to murder her. <laughs> you bear scars from wearing manacles. Who dared shackle you? Horsela is silent for some time, fixing you with a piercing, hateful gaze. Then she explodes. My sister! That bitch Hepzimira always envied me. She was dumber and weaker than I, and so her only goal was to destroy me, crush me. That piece of trash. That belch of Lamashtu lured me into a trap and imprisoned me. I, Baphomet's daughter, was jailed in the ivory labyrinth like a... like a... dim over eternity. There is a note of vengeful pleasure in the demon's voice. Never mind that. Soon, I shall prove which of us is stronger and more valuable. Father will see. Father will realize his mistake. He refused to rescue me back then, letting my sister humiliate me and keep me prisoner, letting her bind my powers. But he will see who his true daughter is among the two of us. Oh, okay. So maybe I don't kill Baphomet, but I get to kill Hepzamira. Let's join forces and destroy Hepzamira. Hosala looks at you condescendingly. If you have truly decided to challenge my sister, you are already dead, so don't expect me to jump into the grave with you. I still say I'm going to kill her. Excellent. And then go away and leave me to my business. No, I don't want to kill you. I have nothing I wish to discuss with you. In this case, I ask you to leave the guild and never come back here again. We respect you, but we neither provide services to you nor treat you as a potential candidate for employment or membership. Graber puts his weapon away with a chuckle and produces his pipe. He lights it slowly with visible pleasure, inhales deeply, and grunts with satisfaction. And the dwarf gives you a cheerful nod. I admit, I'm feeling quite excited. It's been a while since I crossed blades with fellow professionals. I'll be happy to discuss our adventure with you later if you want to compare notes. Let me just clear the field first. <laughs> Is that it? Okay. Let's get out of here, team. That was one big clusterfuck. Successful clusterfuck, but a clusterfuck nonetheless. So, I think healing is a bit on the agenda, wouldn't you say? I think so. Uh, really, Rachel? You get a dimmy dirty like that? Bruh, I have nothing to say to you. Okay, so that's that. We've got to go talk to God at camp, but I'm not going back. Unless Land's going to be back there, but I don't think enough time has passed. So, we need to go to Battle Bliss. Oh, do I really want to do that without Land, though? But then there's no guarantee he's going to come back in a timely fashion. <sighs> okay, to Battle Bliss. Really don't know how to get there from here, so let's just go back to 10,000 Delights. I'm a simple woman who, who knows only how to navigate to certain spaces. <laughs> and one of those spaces is the nearest teleportation device. 
<sighs> oh, God damn the city. Oh yeah, Rachel's still blind. Oh well, that's his problem. <laughs> I've got nothing to say to him about that. Hi, Herix. I think it was your name. Horax, Herix. I'm just using your teleportation device. Don't mind me. 